All right. Good afternoon. Beautiful background. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is just a quick interview with Aisha Morris, and she's going to share with us details about the upcoming 15th annual Dollar for Dollar Cultural History Tour going virtual this year. So Aisha, why don't you um, let them know a little bit about yourself and then just go straight into this tour. Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Aisha Morris. I am a lover of history. <laughs> and I love events that actually allow people to experience it, to have an experiential time, um, being able to touch, feel, and kind of imagine the sounds of Virgin Islands history in a, in a way that helps them to remember it. And so this is why we're here with the Dollar for Dollar Culture and History Tour this year going virtual. So we're, we're gonna be on your online platforms, Zoom and Facebook this year. All right, so this is 15 years. So um, for those who don't know what the Dollar for Dollar Tour is, could you just give them an explanation? Sure. So Dollar for Dollar Culture and History Tour was started 15 years ago. Um, it is really a commemoration of the coal workers of the Virgin Islands um, in the 19th and early 20th century. Coal workers had the backbreaking work of actually fueling the ships that came into the harbor right behind me, <laughs> the St. Thomas Harbor, and they had to carry um, 60 to 100 pounds of coal on their head per basket. Every basket they carried was about that much. And um, this they had to do over and over and over again. Um, 100 baskets, they would get $1 a day. And this happened in Danish money. But um, over the course of time in 1892, in particular, the money was devalued to be worth um, 75 cents. Um, they were being paid in Mexican currency. It's kind of a, a little history behind that. But they were being paid as though this 75 cents was worth $1. And they realized, indeed, they were being gypped. <laughs> they were being gypped. Um, they didn't appreciate it. And so they stood up for their rights by having a strike um, on September 12, 1892, in the streets of Charlotte, Amali. And since uh, 15 years ago, we've been commemorating their strength and their success and their triumph over um, being successfully paid this, this money that they were due. And that's what we've been celebrating for the past 15 years. And we look forward to continuing to invite the public to experience it with us. Um, the tour has been interactive over the years. It's, it involves bambula drumming, bambula dancing, um, acting, re, uh, uh, historic photographs, and we look forward to <laughs> trying it in a new format this year, virtually. Yes, yes, they've been all over the place over the years. Um, Tantiki, walking up and down Main Street, all through the streets and doing different things, day and night, depending on which year you caught the tour. It's been a beautiful experience um, and a really interactive and fun way to learn about local culture and history and also women's, 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 women's rights types of situations. Um, women and men, of course, but you know, women-led <laughs> situations. So what an ideal time for it right now. What can they expect this year for this year's tour, especially since it's gonna be virtual, this is the first time. Certainly. So for this year, we switched the format up a little bit. We will not be walking to our usual tour stops. Um, but over the course of two hours, from 10 a.m. to noon on Saturday, September 20th, participants will experience some bambula dancing by the Alamaler Bambula Dancers. You'll get some conch shell blowing by Brother Delroy Itao Anthony of St. John you will get workshops, interactive workshops, especially geared towards our youth um, that teach you a little bit about some of the traditions that we 
highlight during our tour, which is you get to learn steps of the bambula, you get to learn how to play beats on the conga drum, and you get to learn how to tie a head wrap, which, you know, very fashionable. <laughs> um, and also learn about the old school ways of tying head wraps and the history behind that. Yes, yes. Fashion that came from function. So there's reasons for it, and I'm sure that they'll, they'll learn a little bit about that as well. Now, again, we're just giving them a little snippet of what's going to happen. But um, what, how do they, okay, this year, again, it's virtual. So uh, if you could explain how they're going to access it, where they should go, what they should do. Sure. So Facebook Live, um, everyone should go to our Facebook page immediately and like it. <laughs> and have it ready for your fingers on September 26th. Um, dollar for dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R, S-O-D-O-L-L-A-R. Um, and you can watch the event from beginning to end there. And also for those who want to actually participate interactively in the workshops that we have, Zoom, go to Zoom and it's zoom.us slash my slash WVI R-A-D-O-V-I um, and we are especially pleased and thankful that WUVI has um, allowed us um, to use this format, to use this platform in order, order to present this event to the public. Right, and all of that information is, in, is on the page, so if people go to the dollar for dollar Facebook page, they'll see that and the event uh, that was created, the Facebook event that again has the link right in there, the WVI Radio VI, which is the Zoom, but the dollar for dollar, um, if you're not on Facebook, you can still access it because it's public. And I know that that's uh, facebook.com slash dollar, F-O, no R, <laughs> dollar, that's it, dollar, F-O, dollar. Okay, exactly. excellent. and. Um, Mention whoever you need to mention that, that helped to make it possible this year. Every year you get a good amount of support from different parts of the community. Uh, so this year, uh, what was helpful? Who was helpful? Yes, yes. So this year we got a grant from the Community Foundation of the Virgin Islands. And this was specifically a youth programming mini grant um, that allows us to pay our culture bearers some stipends for their participation. Um, we also have Community Action Now, who has assisted us with um, getting in touch with students who would like to be part of the event. And we're actually putting a call out right now to all public school students, private school students, parochial students, um, learn something new. Learn something new that's related to Virgin Islands history and culture by coming to this event. The workshops are only 20 minutes each, and um, you'll come away enriched, we promise. <laughs> now, speaking of those workshops again, uh, what are those workshops that are gonna be 20 minutes that people are gonna have an opportunity to choose from? And if you could just explain um, the, what, what they are. Certainly. So the first workshop is led by dance instructor, Miss Marie Paul. And it is a bambula dance workshop. You will learn the basic steps of the bambula. The second workshop is drumming, and that's led by Mr. Abu Springett. And he'll be teaching basic conga drumming and bongo drumming. And the third workshop is led by Mr. Bradley Christian of St. Croix, and he'll be teaching how to tie a head wrap. Nice. Okay. So. Yes, nice. so. a little bit of what we have in store. I also want to mention that we have a guest presenter um, from Denmark. Her name is Anne Norgard, and she's an author of a book titled After Our Tour. <laughs> and it actually gives new research into the event, the 1892 poll worker strike, as well as poll workers in the Virgin Islands, as well as the, there was a 1916 strike, which we also commemorate, have commemorated over the years that she has new research on. And so anyone who's um, passionate about history or just generally curious, 
um, will have an opportunity to learn more that we have not known before um, regarding this strike and the strikes in the Virgin Islands and the coal workers in general through an interview that's gonna be led by Nadine Marchena Ken and Dr. Ruby Simmons Isanison. Um, wow. Yes, yes, it's it's gonna be rich, you know, it's gonna be rich. And the to close, we have um, Mr. Glenn Quabina Davis, culture bearer, um, sharing his music that's that was related to the times as well as we have a libation by Senator Myron D. Jackson. So we have a full, full slate of opportunities for culture to be exposed on this particular day, September 26, 2020. Excellent. So that's really soon. That's this weekend for those of you watching Facebook all this week. And spread the word. Again, go to the dollar for dollar page. Don't put an R in four, even though I just said four. Dollar for dollar, okay? Four. Exactly. <laughs> and shout out to um, Ms. Jawe David. Yes. Who is also a co-organizer of this tour. And to everyone who has given us support over the years, to all who have been on the tour over the years, we are not discouraged by these times. We are making our adaptations and we are pushing forward right, with right. strength. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And for those who moved off island or aren't on island right now that are always upset that they missed the tour every September, let them know they can join it this year. They can watch it on Facebook or they can join in on Zoom and go to the, the different breakout sessions to either learn about the hair wrapping, the head wrapping, the drumming or the bambula dancing. Um, so Definitely. go to the dollar, faux dollar page and make sure you get that faux, right, faux. <laughs> on Facebook. Okay. There is a Facebook event. If you click on the event that you're going or interested, whichever one, whenever there's updates and information, um, you'll be notified on Facebook. So again, you don't have to have a Facebook account for this. So for those of you that have friends that you know that want to participate, please do share the information with them. Thank you, Aisha. We look forward to Dollar for Dollar 15. <laughs> and you know, because I'm on the, I'm speaking with you, Dara, and you've been a big supporter over the years. How is it that we are speaking? And I did not mention Conch Shell Media. <laughs> <laughs> because Conch Shell Media, to which has been so instrumental in helping us publicize, helping us carry this format, helping videotape and everything. We do appreciate all your work, Dara. Um, yes. So thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Of course, of course. Thank you. My pleasure to continue sharing the culture using technology in whatever ways we can, right? All right. So let's get off of this so we can start getting people sharing and um, dollar for dollar. Yes, dollar for dollar. Check See you soon. Flyer. See you September 26, 2020. Go to the dollar for dollar Facebook page. Dollar for, don't put an R in there. Ain't got no R. Ain't got no R. Dollar for dollar on Facebook and you'll see the event. Uh, go ahead and join the event to be connected with the links and everything else and share it so that other people can, it's free. It is totally free. <laughs> okay. No excuses. Right. <laughs> none, none. And it'll be, it'll be up there parts, at least if you're watching live, if you watch live on Facebook, you'll get the majority of it. If you join via Zoom, you'll get to participate in some more of the breakout groups and there's some more information coming. So just stay tuned to the Facebook page and we'll see how everything else is going to work itself out. All right. So love the view. Enjoy that. And <laughs> this year, dollar for dollar goes virtual. Yes. All right. Thanks, Dara. All right. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye.